Hello, everyone. My name is Tian Yu Zhao. I'm a third year PhD student in CPAS working with Dr. Rolando Burgos. I obtained my master's degree from Tsinghua University in China. My research interests include wideband gap devices characterization and application. Today, I will talk about dynamic RDS on evaluation of 650 volts GAN e hamped devices in forward and reverse conduction mode. Dynamic cardiosome is the unstable resistance following an oxidative voltage stress and a switching transient. Both of these two stages have impact on RDSON, making it larger than the datasheet value which is obtained in a static measurement. In gain-based power converters, dynamic cardiosome effect can lead to a lower loss estimation during the design stage, ultimately affecting the performance of the converter cooling system. The objectives of this work is to characterize dynamic cardiosome effect, seeking to incorporate it into the design process, studying its dependence and impact under various operation conditions. To this end, characterizations are conducted, firstly using a double pulse test to assess various factors that impact the magnitude of this phenomenon. This is followed by an evaluation under continuous operation marrying the effects of switching frequency, operating temperature, and the additional conduction losses generated. For double pulse test measurements, the test schematics is shown in the top right figure. Dynamic RDSM value is calculated using Ohm's law. Onset voltage is measured by a voltage clipper probe, and current is measured by a coaxial current shunt. During the test, a resistor RL is paralleled as the figure shows, which is used for device self-heating, seeking to characterize dynamic and static RDSON at the same condition. In order to verify different impact factors, three operation modes are designed to compare the impact of conduction direction and the switching function. Different off-state voltages are tested in all three operation modes, and the results are shown in the left figure, the ratio of dynamic over static RDSM above 1 represents this phenomenon. It is apparent in this plot that the higher the offset voltage is, the larger this ratio will be. Compared to soft turn-on, switching events after a hard turn-on commutation also leads to a larger ratio. The figure on the right shows the dynamic to static RDSM ratio at same junction temperature for two different DC bus voltages, which indicates that the higher the junction temperature is, the lower will be the effect on the RDSM value. This work mainly focuses on soft switching operation, given that it is the preferred operating mode for these switches. A three kilowatt series resonant converter was used to conduct the test three switching frequency values and four junction temperature conditions were tested. This converter has sinusoidal currents as shown in the bottom right figure. The RDSM calculation period is chosen near the peak area, which has lower DIDT. This diminishes the effect of voltage drop due to loop inductance, which may impact the measurement accuracy. The temperature variation and the four different tests are shown in the bottom left figure. The period of time highlighted corresponds to temperature variation less than one degree C. All measured temperatures and waveforms were recorded for posterior analysis. This slide shows the results under continuous test. The left figure presents the normalized RDSM values at different temperatures taken in steady state over the last one minute. It shows how the dynamic cardiacine effect becomes constant once the operating temperature reaches steady state. The figure on the right shows a 3D plot of the extra loss variation versus the switching frequency and junction temperature, where the general dependence trends can easily be observed. Specifically, higher junction temperature diminishes this phenomenon and the switching frequency has nearly no impact over this dynamic effect. In all, the observed at least 10% increase in conduction losses cannot be neglected, since under soft switching operation, the switching losses of the converter 
will be nearly eliminated, leaving only conduction losses as the main thermal load for the cooling system. This is the full bridge board used for dynamic RDSON characterization for both double pulse and continuous test. This is the clipper measurement probe for VDSON measurement. It has two terminals. This is the input side, which is connected to the drain and source terminals of the merit device. This is the output side connected to the single end probe, then connected to the oscilloscope. Its input voltage is up to 1500 volts, and there are two ranges to choose for output. Its function is to clamp the high offset voltage to the specific value, which has the same scale with the low onset voltage to increase the measurement accuracy. Compared to other clamping circuits integrated on the PCB board, it will not be heated up during the high temperature test and easily to be removed from the board when not using. These waveforms are the continuous test result at 350 kHz switching frequency and 400 volts bus voltage. We can see the function of clipper measurement probe here. The blue curve is drain to source voltage and the purple curve is gate to source voltage. We can see VDS shifts from 400 volts to below 2 volts after turned on and it's hard to read accurate VDS on value. The yellow curve is the output voltage of the clipper measurement probe. During off state, it clamps 400 volts to 2.5 volts and represents VDS on during on state. Therefore, a small measurement scale can be used to increase the measurement accuracy. To summarize, for dynamic RDS on characterization in this work, both double pulse and continuous tests are implemented. It is seen that higher junction temperature suppresses this issue. However, in total device loss breakdown of a soft switching converter, conduction losses share larger part than that of a hard switching converter. So based on the results in this work, extra loss induced by dynamic RDS on issue should be considered in the converter design. Thank you for your listening.